to get a good night's sleep. Well, maybe your pillow. <laughs> You're so serious. <laughs> Are you tired? <laughs> I was gonna say maybe your boss is to blame. You know, what? for this maybe pillow, pillow talk. Not our boss. For this pillow talk, maybe we need Horrible. to dim the lights. Horrible. Horrible. Talk a little lower. Maybe whisper. <laughs> Have a little glass of. Milk. Hot milk. Well, we're talking this morning about pillows. Candles. <laughs> okay. And so over the course of several weeks, several of us have tested out these pillows. And, and, and he was not involved in the testing, which is why he's so tired. Because he was it's out because, of town. Well, he was out of town. Yes. So um, here are all the pillows that we tested. So there's this water pillow. What you do is you adjust this with water for firmness. Um, we have a buckwheat pillow, which is supposed to, like, you know, shape to your body, but it's kind of loud. That one's there for your is, little rascals. There's a foam <laughs> pillow that Melanie has over there. Um, that's supposed to do the same, also supposed to form to your body. Uh, Richard has the down pillow. And then the one that you've probably seen in the commercials, this one. It's this machine washable. This is the my pillow. All right, now your sleeping position is supposed to determine the firmness of the pillow that's going to give you the best night's sleep, right? But even though we all sleep in different positions, the majority of us picked one pillow and said it made a huge difference. Richard even bought one for his wife. You found a pillow that you said changed everything. I get a better night's sleep. It is apparently very comfortable and it keeps her from snoring, so I love it. So I do admit at some point throughout the night I did have to rearrange it and refluff it, you know, because it did lose its shape a little bit. But compared to what I usually use at night, that helped a lot. So what pillow are we talking about? It is the my pillow. My Made pillow. in the USA. I'm telling you, you know, right machine in my factory washable. here in Wisconsin. <laughs> really? I mean, you see the commercials. Minnesota. I mean, they're all, who all could the miss the commercials? Right. Who could miss right. it, right? So, Jen, you say that this also really helped your neck, that you woke up and you weren't so sore. I wasn't. You know, I had a really bad car accident many years ago, and so I do have some neck pain, and this has been, well, when I used it, was fantastic. And, it's great. And, and, we're, and which, so, how do you sleep? I sleep, on my, I sleep on my back. Okay, and I'm yeah. a stomach sleeper, and I loved it. Which side? Side, and... With my eyes closed. <laughs> of course, he's going to be funny. Now, does Cindy sleep on her? Because I know this, this was really for Cindy. Usually on the couch. <laughs> I would think you'd be the one on the couch. She sleeps on her back. Okay, so all different sleeping <laughs> positions and found this. Um, the keys to this is when you get it, you know, you can actually take some of the foam out. Mm -hmm. But then, like you said, during oh. the night, and I do this too because I'm Refluffed sleeping on it. one now and I have to refluff it or just move it around. But you can do that. So it really, yeah, you know, you it lives up to the height. Right? Yeah, you can take a little oh. bit out, make oh. it a little bit softer. Um, but it lives up to the height. it's machine washable. It's machine washable. <laughs> now, of course, one of us had to be different. <laughs> That's a girl. Well, I wonder who that, that is. That? Uh, Melanie had a different favorite. Take a listen. Out of all the pillows that you tested over those, you know, weeks of testing, is there any one that really stood out to you? So I think for me, the foam pillow was a good one. I liked it. It felt very natural, and I kind of sunk into it. And then the my pillow, even though I think it was just too long, I liked it, but I thought I was going to love it. And so if I had to choose, it would be the foam pillow. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, I didn't you like love it. the foam. I, mean, I, I felt like you. I don't want to wake up and have to readjust my pillow. See, but, I wake up anyway, so it's yeah. You know. I don't. Um, so this, I just, yeah. I, it felt good. It, does, it, it, it did. feels good right now. I want to go to sleep. I really did like that one as well. So <laughs> yeah. I think these are the top two. It's the close um, two. My son has this has one of these. Yes, yeah. yeah. What, is, what is this one? It. it just kind of it's the it's the foam. memory yeah. foam. The memory so it foam. shapes okay. to your head. To your head. Yep. And whatever else. You can't move when you sleep on that. It's like your head's just you maybe don't need to move. I like to move around a little bit. Let's talk about what didn't work. Okay. So. This buckwheat pillow, Richard was just saying, again, this is this is supposed to keep you cool at night, kind of draw out the heat, but it was really noisy. Is it worth yeah. the noise? Is it worth the noise? Because <laughs> you, you can move hear around it. a lot in your yes. sleep. Mm. I and think it's also very that. small, so it's the complete opposite of this giant pillow. Oh, yeah. The water pillow, which is one of the heaviest things I've oh, my ever gosh, experienced. So I mean, this pillow is really heavy. And you said it sounded like <laughs> a water bag, right? Let me tell you how, how, the difficult, how difficult it was to fill that. Under the sink or under the bathroom? Yeah. Because I was missing a tool. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I left the bottle. I, I was like sitting there trying to open leaks. it. If it yeah, then. You know? I just, it, to me, it sounds like a, your head. a kid and a baby in a, a baby in a diaper. It's a lot of. That's never plastic, anything you want to hear. Yeah, well, right. I don't even know what that and sounds then, like. And then the down pillow, which really are just throw pillows for the bed. <laughs> That's not what it means to do. <laughs> oh. All right. So in the end, four out of five yeah. of us yeah. picked. 
the my pillow. Yay! And it, it's not a cheap investment. Mm -mm. Do y'all no. get a free but, one now? But, but I will say <laughs> that it, it's made a world of difference for the way that Cindy sleeps and the way that I sleep because now I'm not woken up by the thought of a grizzly bear. Well, here's, here's the thing: you know, you, you talk about cost, and I'm not endorsing my pillow, but I find that if you buy an, a, a cheap pillow. You wind up replacing it fairly often. Oh, fairly so, often, yes. You know, you, you get what you pay for. And, and, and with some pillows, a way that you can tell if you need a new one is you can fold it over, put a shoe or, you know, a, an object that's about that weight, and then let it go. And if it flings the shoe off, then your pillow's fine. But if it doesn't, then it's time to get a new one. Oh, that's mm -mm. great. I need to try I'm that not out. Putting I know, a dirty I was about to say. You were going to say that. Let <laughs> me no not shoes. try this. Uh, in a bag. so difficult. <laughs> doesn't work with construction boots, by the way. <laughs> we'll be